I come with a two edge sword and force them Mash up the arena, mash up the arena, mash up the arena I come with a two edge sword and force them Mash up the arena, yeah, mash up the arena Dark season is just about a dark life and a dark existence and just not existing and life is just dark fam What's happening people? My name is Unique Creation. Welcome back to your next session. Listen, I want to talk about track two of Dark Season. That's called Arena. The music video is out now. Unique Creation, hashtag Arena. Just type it on YouTube, you will see it. This track is... I come with a two-edged sword and force to mash up the arena. Mash up the arena. Mash up the arena. I come with a two-edged sword and force to mash up the arena. Mash up the arena. Mash up the arena. On the next half, still chasing status Little league priest on the back for the majors uh, Go hard in the world, I don't rate us Even if I have to roll deep on my Jacobs Wake up, do you even get what I made up? What? Don't sleep on your knee, you best wake up Light up the crowd for the sake of a makeup. Bring good news to your ears, any takers Out on the roads exposing secrets Well, it's one of my favourite tracks on the EP Because it was a very, very key time for me So let me break down what Arena is Once again, it's about me deciding to whenever I go out there, it's about my attitude. Going out there and dealing with any situation, any war front, any arena that I'm in. I'm out there to mash it up. I'm out there to break it down. I'm out there to run through an incredible hawk the whole thing. That is what arena is about. This was an answer, this answer was at a hot time in my life. Very hot time in my life. And was there was a lot of evangelism. A lot of hard questions thrown at me. It got aggressive at times where people wanted to physically box me up. I'm not joking. Like it almost got physical sometimes. And for me, having those hard questions, I'm not an ignorant person. When I hear a question to, uh, I don't know, I don't just discard it because if it's a good question, there's, it's one to actually acknowledge that hmm, people used to ask me some hard questions. Not just about not just when I'm evangelizing, just life in general, things happening. I was even asking hard questions. And this was around the time where I started seeing a lot of things about, about Christianity being a copy and, and how, you know, the whole thing with Kemet and Egypt and all this stuff. And it really started to look true. So I started to sway to that side. I started researching it more. It really got to a point where there was a lot of inner turmoil. A lot of inner turmoil. It was an angry time for me. Where I remember... I was standing with God again. When I say standing with God, praying. I was standing there in my room, nobody else around, like I, like I do a lot at the time. And I just asked them a simple question because it was a simple time for me. You know I'm not in a good place in my head and my heart right now. So you need to, I need something. Like what is going on here? And I remember him responding with this, like you're not a weakling, you're not a pushover because I'm with you. So you need to go back into the books you're forgetting. Find out why you're following this to begin with. So for me, it was just finding answers and really having clarity on my identity there was a lot of, ooh, i like that clarity on my identity yo i like anyway yeah having clarity on my identity and really just reminding myself why do i live this life to begin with and it's encouragement to people in general man don't put yourself in a victim's position don't put yourself in a victim's position in the poll once said this victor victor never victim Victor never victim. It's a line from his lyric, and I love that track. It's devil don't want no more. It's a hard, well, yeah, it's a track we did back in the day. But on the reels, when he said that, he's right. Never ever put yourself in a victim's position. Even when life's hard, knocking you down, punching you up, and you're in the corner, you know, defending yourself because you're out of energy. You don't have to give in. You don't have to give in. Sometimes the biggest battles, no, all the time, the biggest battles to fight are always the hardest ones. The biggest battles to fight always the hardest ones. And me was just me deciding, no matter what comes with me, this is where I'm standing. I'm going in, I'm an incredible hawking, hawk smash, hawk bash, the whole thing. I'm not just going into a ring to swing. I'm going to take out the ring itself. And that's the mentality I decided to hold on to. It made me a bit more aggressive than I usually am, but it was the attitude necessary for the time I was in. And that's Arena in a nutshell. If you didn't see it, go and see it now. I'm smashing up a lot of stuff. Hope you enjoyed breaking things I did. See you on the, see you on the next one. I come with a two edged sword and force to mash up the arena, mash up the arena, mash up the arena. I come with a two edged.